Mike Hill for five. Did you see the reason CW Superman's being canceled because it doesn't want to compete against Superman Legacy? I did see that, Mike. Um, let me actually pull that up if I can find it. This is the story that's been going around over the past few days here. Superman and Lois season four, how James Gunn's DCU franchise caused show's end in new report. Uh, it appears James Gunn's DC universe, including Superman Legacy, had a role to play in Superman and Lois getting canceled after four seasons. Now, some of this stuff, I can, I guess I could kind of understand some of it at the same time. It's like, okay, you don't want a competing Superman show, yet you're fine with having competing Batman in the same universe. Now, is that because James Gunn didn't have a choice because because Matt Reeves, the Batman 2, was already greenlit and already happening and out of his control? Maybe that's a possible explanation, but let's get into this. Superman and Lois Season 4 is ending due to Warner Brothers and James Gunn's new DC Universe plans. The CW president, Brad Schwartz, revealed the show's cause of conclusion during the Television Critics Association event. Warner Brothers' decision to wrap up the show is related to James Gunn's upcoming Superman project, Superman Legacy. With Superman and Lois season four being the end of the show, the CW now reveals James Gunn's DC Universe is the reason it's concluding. Even though the Flash season nine wrapped up Earth Prime Corner of the Arrowverse, Greg Berlanti's DC TV Universe is entering its final, final year this fall. Following the Superman Lois season three finale, CW renewed it for one more season as it will conclude the story of the Lane Kent family. Now, I watched season one. I know some people really enjoyed it. I, I couldn't get into it. Um, I, I thought it was fine, but I, I didn't think it was great or anything like that. So I really stopped watching it after season one. Maybe it got better after that. Not sure. In an interview with The Wrap during this year's Television Critics Association, CW President of Entertainment Brad Schwartz opened up a bit more about Superman and Lois season four being the final season of the series, stating it was because of Warner Brothers that they had to wrap up the show and light the new DC universe, which includes James Gunn's Superman legacy. While Gunn and DC Studios are yet to issue a statement, Schwartz said the following. They don't want a competing Superman product in the marketplace. So that's the reason that Brad Schwartz is saying for that. Now, maybe maybe there is, you know, validity to that. They don't want a competing Superman product. But like I said in the beginning, if you already have a competing Batman, you have, you know, Robert Pattinson's The Batman 2 is coming out. And you also are going to have Batman Brave and the Bold. There doesn't seem to be any real concern about that. Um, yet there's concern about potentially a Superman project overlapping. Maybe, like I said, it's because of pre-existing contracts. Maybe that's what James Gunn would have preferred. Just get the fuck out. Like, get Matt Reeves' Batman out of here. We don't want that. But he wasn't able to do it. I'm not sure. Either way, they're blaming Superman Legacy on why Superman and Lois being canceled. So for the people that were looking forward to that or wanted that to continue on, I guess you're blaming James Gunn for it not happening. Um, I guess I can understand not wanting to have competing products, but if your product is good, if what you're putting out is good, you shouldn't have to worry too much about if another good product involving Superman is out there anyway, whether it's an animated project, whether it's on CW, wherever it might be. But uh, this right now is what they're blaming for the cancellation of Superman and Lois, James Gunn's Superman legacy.